Big Climate Quiz Number 4 What is an Ice Age? There is a great deal of confusion on this term, Ice Age. When the term was first introduced by German botanist Carl Friedrich Schemper in 1837, Icezeit, we still knew very little about Earth's past. The term was used to describe a time when glaciers were more plentiful and when the force of that ice had deposited the boulders Schimper had studied. The American Museum of Natural History has this to say, quote, Ice ages may be simply defined as periods of extreme cooling with the most pronounced effects occurring at higher latitudes. The most obvious effect is the locking up of great quantities of water in the form of ice. Since there is only a limited amount of free water on the Earth at any time, locking up huge amounts of it will have an overall impact on sea levels, effectively lowering them." End quote. At the museum, they characterize glacial periods as ice ages and interglacial periods as predominantly warm stages. So we get a picture of ice ages or glacial periods separated by interglacial periods. The BBC says, quote, during the last 2.6 million years or so, in the Quaternary Period, ice ages, also called glacial ages, were times of extreme cooling of the Earth's climate, where ice sheets and other types of glacier expanded to cover large areas of land. Between ice ages, there were warmer interglacial periods, and we are now living during such a time." End quote. This reinforces the picture given us by the American Museum of Natural History. Encyclopedia Britannica says, quote, Ice Age, also called Glacial Age, any geologic period during which thick ice sheets cover vast areas of land, such periods of large-scale glaciation, may last several million years and drastically reshape surface features of entire continents. A number of major ice ages have occurred throughout Earth history. The earliest known took place during Precambrian time, dating back more than 570 million years. Most recent periods of widespread glaciation occurred during the Pleistocene epoch, 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago. End quote. This definition portrays the entire Pleistocene as an ice age which ended 11,700 years ago. Dictionary.com says, quote, often initial capital letters, the glacial epoch, especially the Pleistocene epoch, end quote. The free Dictionary.com says, quote, one, a cold period marked by extensive glaciation, two, ice age, the most recent glacial period which occurred during the Pleistocene epoch, end quote. These definitions show a different picture of Ice Age as a continuous period of 2.6 million years followed by the Holocene. However, ScienceDaily.com says, quote, An Ice Age is a period of long-term reduction in the temperature of Earth's climate, resulting in an expansion of the continental ice sheets, polar ice sheets, and mountain glaciers. Glaciologically, Ice Age is often used to mean a period of ice sheets in the northern and southern hemispheres. By this definition, we are still in an Ice Age, because the Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets still exist." End quote. This gives us a markedly different picture of the Ice Age, which includes our current interglacial, the Holocene. According to Matt Williams of Universe Today, quote, the most accurate definition would be that ice ages are periods when ice sheets and glaciers expand across the planet, which correspond to significant drops in global temperatures and can last for millions of years, end quote. Williams goes on to say, quote, by definition, we are still in the last great ice age, which began during the late Pliocene epoch, circa 2.58 million years ago and are currently in an interglacial period characterized by the retreat of glaciers." End quote. So we have conflicting definitions. Which definition makes the most sense? It helps to understand more about the terms used in those definitions. Pleistocene. Dictionary.com defines Pleistocene as, quote, noting or pertaining to the epoch forming the earlier half of the Quaternary period, beginning about two million years ago, and ending 10,000 years ago, K 
characterized by widespread glacial ice and the advent of modern humans, end quote. Their use of the word half is misleading. The Pleistocene half of the Quaternary period was roughly 2.6 million years long, while the last half of the Quaternary, the Holocene, has been only about 12,000 years long. The Holocene is the extremely short half. The FreeDictionary.com says, quote, of relating to or being the epoch of geologic time from about 2.6 million to 12,000 years ago, the older of the two epochs of the Quaternary period. It is characterized by the alternate appearance and recession of northern glaciation, the appearance and worldwide spread of hominins, and the extinction of numerous land mammals such as the mammoths, mastodons, and saber-toothed tigers, end quote. Dictionary.com defines interglacial as, quote, occurring or formed between times of glacial action, end quote. Ironically, this is a very poor definition because glacial action is unending so long as glaciers exist, and glaciers persist throughout interglacial periods. The Pleistocene has had dozens of glacial and interglacial periods, with some of the interglacials being far warmer than our current Holocene. Since our Holocene is merely one of dozens of interglacials, there is no logical reason to set it apart from the remainder of the Pleistocene. We are still experiencing a period of glaciation in Greenland and Antarctica. The interglacial periods of the Pleistocene had been far cooler than the periods before the Pleistocene began, so even though interglacial periods are warmer than glacial periods, they are still far cooler than earlier periods of Earth's history. Taking a closer look at the definitions. So the American Museum of Natural History was describing our Holocene when they said, quote, ice ages may be simply defined as periods of extreme cooling, end quote. The Holocene is far cooler than the Pliocene, Miocene, and earlier epochs. The same applies to the BBC when they said, quote, ice ages, also called glacial ages, were times of extreme cooling, end quote. The problem with these two definitions is that they don't quantify what is meant by extreme cooling, or the amount of glaciation. This problem leaves open to loose interpretation their definitions. That's sloppy thinking on their part. The United States Geological Survey seems to agree with the notion that the entire Pleistocene was an ice age. Titles like, quote, was all of Alaska covered by glaciers during the Pleistocene Ice Age, end quote, suggest there is no ambiguity there that both glacial and interglacial periods are part of the same Ice Age cooling of Earth. And so does the title of another article on the USGS site, quote, are today's glaciers leftovers from the Pleistocene Ice Age, end quote. Ironically, the USGS seems to be equally confused because they seem to imply that this special interglacial, the Holocene, is somehow not a part of the same ice age that had plenty of interglacial periods, some far warmer than the Holocene. So if the entire Pleistocene was the most recent ice age, and the Pleistocene consisted of dozens of glacial and interglacial periods, then the subsequent interglacial, the Holocene, in which we now live, is merely a part of the same series of interglacials which made up the Pleistocene Ice Age. One common element in all of the definitions of Ice Age was that of persistent polar glaciation. Throughout the Pleistocene, there has been varying amounts of ice and no clear boundaries setting apart interglacial from glacial. The entire planet has remained at cooler temperatures for some 2.6 million years. So what should our definition be for Ice Age? One website suggested a definition that makes the most sense, a period when glaciation persists throughout the year in both polar regions. This definition is consistent with all definitions except where they artificially contradict themselves by making the Holocene separate from the Pleistocene. The only thing that makes the Holocene unique amongst Pleistocene interglacials is the advent of civilization. And civilization is not an element of climate, so it has no business being in the definition of Ice Age. Science Army, the scientific armadillo, says, The answer is, An Ice Age is a period of cooler climate worldwide where glaciers persist throughout the year in both polar regions. So we currently live in an Ice Age. After all, 
we still have mountains of ice in both Greenland and Antarctica.